Hey guys, how's it going? My name is TJ and I love playing sports video games. Um, one of the games that I've really been getting into recently is NBA 2K13. And I realize it came out last fall in 2012, but it's uh, summer 2013 and I'm still digging it. Um, I only bought it a few months ago and I've just been playing it more than any other game. I'm not going to claim to be like the best uh, player or great or anything. I get my ass whooped in my team all the time. I get my ass whooped on online all the time unless I'm playing with the Clippers. But um, I do love telling stories about the players. And this is why things like my career um, and Road to the Show and LLB the Show are, are modes that I really like. And so I saw a lot of other guys on YouTube just kind of playing my career modes and just telling the story as they went with it. So I thought that's something I definitely want to do. So I went out and I bought the game recorder and I uh, I am using iMovie on my Mac and I'm just going to have fun with it. And if people like it, so be it. If they don't, then I'm just going to have fun doing it regardless. So here's the deal here. This player that I'm creating now is Skylar Diggins. She's going to be the first woman playing in the NBA. She was a point guard at Notre Dame last year and she got drafted to uh, the Tulsa WNBA team. And uh, so I wanted to be like tell the story of the first woman in the NBA, and that's what I'm going to do here. So when I was creating her, I made her exactly how she is in real life. The same birthday, the same age, um, everything, but most importantly, the same height and weight, which is 5'9", 145 pounds. So we're going to see how she competes in the WNBA. And as you can see, we're here at the Rookie Showcase, where she's looking to show off her skills and sort of see if any NBA team out there is going to want to draft her based on how she performs here. So she's out there. She's getting pumped up. She's playing out there with all men. This little 5'9 point guard little girl. Um, that sounded kind of creepy. Not little girl, but little woman. You know, she's out there. She's ready to compete. She's looked a little bit manlier than she did when she played for Notre Dame. I'll admit that. But that's kind of a restriction that the game had. And, uh, and... That's sort of just something we're going to have to work with as we move forward. So she's out there. She's ready for the tip. And from this point forward, she is on her way to an NBA career. And the tip off, the elites win it. And she gets the ball for the first time. And she's taking it up the court. And she pulls up. And, ah, that's off. That's off. You know, she was a little stressed. She was a little uh, looking to show off her skills there. And uh, she forced up a bad shot. So the elites get the rebound. She gets the ball back. And she's going to throw up another shot. And this one rims out too. So that's two missed shots. She's 0 for 2, you know. She's a little stressed out. But she's back on defense. And she puts up some great defense on Damian Lillard there. Forcing him to miss the shot. So she's taking the ball back up the court here. She gets a handoff. And she puts it up for mid-range. And oh, that one's off too. She's getting good shots. She's putting up good shots here. But they're just not falling. So she's back on offense. She calls for the pick and roll. She tosses it inside to Davis. Anthony Davis gets it. Oh, but she's not credited with an assist. Looked like an assist to me, but NBA 2K didn't feel the same way. Anyway, that's going to count as an assist. A beautiful inside pass for an easy score. Um, that's what she does best. She's a, she's a passer through and through. She's an all-around point guard. Oh, she puts up the fadeaway contested shot, and she drills it for her first point in the... Uh, in the rookie showcase. That was beautiful. So she's got the ball again here on offense. She throws up another fadeaway and oh she sinks it. She is 5'9 but she is out there playing like she is 6 feet tall. She's just throwing up shots on fadeaways creating space. Oh she had a wide open 3 there but she missed it. So she's about 2 for 5 at this point. You know she's missed a lot of shots but she's made a few as well. Back on defense now. And uh... Now, Forces stop and they're driving it up the court. And she puts up another contested shot. Oh my god, it swishes in. Oh my god, Skylar Diggins is putting on a show here. She's got six points, one assist. And she's uh she's showing that she can play out there and hang with the big boys. Another three-point shot. Sinks it! Oh my god! She is on fire. She has made like four of her last five shots. She is not missing. And then she puts up another three. A B-plus shot score, but oh, it rims out. Good shot there, but sometimes they're just not going to fall for you. And then there, she fouls Damian Lillard there, and she gets a good foul rating. She's not afraid to be tough. She's out there playing with the guys, but she's going to show that she isn't afraid to back down, and that's what she did there with that good foul on Damian Lillard. But right there, she showed something that she's going to do a lot this game, and that's fall asleep on defense. And she's just going to let Lillard run all over her sometimes, and so that's kind of an issue. 
But anyway, back on offense, she puts up a shot just inside the three-point, and that's off. You know, she's taking a lot of shots, but she's also getting really unlucky sometimes here. So let's see what she can do on defense here. Oh, she falls asleep again in Damian Lillard. Oh, she jumps and oh, that was just terrible defense by Skyler there. That's uh, that's not good defense at all, unfortunately. And Damian Lillard is scoring at will almost on her here. So I don't know what the NBA scouts are thinking of that right now, but um, she puts up. Oh, that's a D shot right and That's just a bad shot. Bad shot selection and and deserved too. So she's having some issues here. Oh, and she ah. Oh. She messed up the defense, but she did get the rebound there, so. A little 5-9 point guard. Oh, and she throws up a terrible shot again, and that's off. Oh my gosh, she is taking terrible shots here, and the coach can't be too pleased about that. And the scouts as well. So she's back in the game now. Um, a minute 51 in the in the second half, first half. And she's on the three-point line. She's going to throw up another one. Oh, and she sinks it. There we go. She just ended a little cold spell. She's got 12 points in the first half, which is pretty respectable. But right there, she went for the steal on Damian Lillard, and he ran right by her. That's one thing she's definitely going to have to work on as we end the first half here. Uh, her defense has just been pretty shabby all around. But her offense has been pretty good, as you can see in the uh, first half scouting report. She got five stars for scoring. Uh, four stars for efficiency. I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, passing only two stars, and then defense is the, the backbreaker there. She only got one star. But, you know, through the first half, she's showing she can hang with the guys. And she's, you know, I'm sure she's catching a lot of scouts' eyes because she can score. You know, and as a point guard, you don't have to be huge to be able to score. You just got to be able to create space and take smart shots. But she's doing a little bit, and not there, though. That was not a smart shot. She is nervous coming out of the halftime break, and she's thrown up kind of a bad shot, and she gets just destroyed by Kid Gilchrist. But uh, back on offense now, she gets the pass, and she drives to the hoop. Oh, and she uses this great footwork and uh, and just able to put that one in, driving in the basket. And there she tries to force in a bad pass to the lane, and that's not going to work. And there's another turnover, so... We're seeing some issues from her when it comes to passing and defense. She has the ball again, top of the key. She passes it inside to Drummond. Andre Drummond slams it down, and there's her second assist of the game, and that's a beauty too. Right to him, right on the mark, and he scores it immediately. So she's back to guarding Lillard. He's moving, he's moving. Oh, and the runner, and she gives up another basket. So Lillard is really just running, train, beasting, and feasting all over her right now. And that's kind of an issue. I'm sure the scouts are taking notice. But she's going to try to make up for it with her offensive play right here. She's got the ball. She calls the pick and roll. She, oh, there was another bad shot. She has forced up at least five bad shots this game. And it's probably just nerves, you know. Um, we've seen her take some great shots. But those forced up shots are just kind of killing her team right here. Oh, there she gets her third rebound of the game. And then passes up court to Barnes. Harrison Barnes sinks it and she gets an assist. There we go. She grabs the rebound. The 5'9 woman point guard grabs the rebound among the nine other big men, tosses it down the field, or down the court, and gets the basket. That's just fantastic play. And there she's in the scrum, and she gets another rebound. Passes up the court, and oh, she gets the pass to assist. She gets a little boost to her teammate grade there. So she's doing all right, you know. She's, uh, she's being active. She's already got four rebounds, which is crazy considering her height. And that, oh, there we go. Almost another turnover there. But Harrison Barnes gets it, but he misses. And then Kid Girl Chris taking it up and just shows. He tries to say, hey, we don't want women in this league. But, you know, she's not going to take that. She's she's going to keep going out there and trying to prove herself. She did just get posterized, but she, show, she has that mid-range game. She has that mid-range game right there, and that's that's beautiful. So she's taking up the floor again. She's got the ball. And she, oh man, she needs to stop putting those up. She's just trying to force shots, trying to get her draft stock to go up. You know, it's not even sure she's going to be drafted at this point. It's kind of all in the air. It's the big news story right now. And oh, she can't be doing that. She's just throwing up two bad shots in back to back possessions, and the coach can't be pleased. That's just bad play there. But 
She's still in the game, and she's at the top of the key. Harrison Barnes has it, passes it back. She puts it up. Oh, and she makes it. There's another three. She's showing some pretty good three-point range, and it's pretty impressive what we've seen from that so far. She puts it up again from just inside the three, and oh, that's, uh, that's also a bad shot. Not as bad as those fadeaway, crazy acrobatic shots that she was trying to pull earlier, but it's still not a shot you should be taking, and she knows that. She's still got those jitters, you know. She's she's making history here, and uh, it's big stuff. She's trying to get the rebound, and she just leaves Lillard wide open. She was too interested in getting in that rebound and providing help defense in the post, which that's not her job, and she needs to know that. And I'm sure she knows it, but once again, those jitters and the fact that she's making history and has the potential to be drafted here is is just wreaking havoc on her mind. So she pulls up, and another bad shot. She's at a 38% oh, three-point percentage, but probably about the same field goal percentage, too. It's not looked pretty, her shot selection. Anyway, back on D, and she tries to provide help defense, and Lillard slips across the floor. When you're playing man-to-man, -man, you can't do that, and she's just making mental mistakes all over. And look at that. Damian Lillard has scored 30 points on her to this game. She is getting feasted on by him. But, you know, she's making up for on the offensive end with 19 points. She tries to put up a... Oh, and there's another bad shot. And the scouts can't be loving this. Um, that's just not a good shot. And she is... She has thrown up, like, four bad shots in a row. And then she lets Damian Lillard get into the key and pass it off for the easy score. So she's not playing the best D, not making the best shot selection, but it looks like the elites are going to take this. And here she has the chance to make two free throws to put the game out of reach. And she hits the first. They're up by four. And she hits the second. They're up by five. But then the Stars take the ball and let's see if they can do something here. She's back on D. And Kid Gilchrist throws it up. Oh, he makes it. So they're up by two. She gets the ball again. And another pressure situation here. She's got to make both to really put the game out of reach. Whoa, that coach is weird looking. Uh... Oh, she makes the first. She is calm and cool under pressure, and you got to love that about her. Uh, she makes the second, and they're up by four, and the game is out of reach. So the Elites win. Skyler finishes with 23 points, five rebounds, and four assists. You know, she looked good out there for being the first female to play with uh, future NBA players. You know, she looked good. She was scoring when she got good shots. She was forcing up a lot of bad shots. She didn't play great defense. But, uh, you know, she looked good, and she looked like she can compete at this level, and that's what's important. So now we are at the NBA draft. Just to give you a little background, um, she interviewed with the Phoenix Suns, the Houston Rockets, and I think the 76ers. I don't really remember. but um, So she was hoping to get drafted by the Rockets, and she's looking to get drafted number 13, um, by the Suns, and uh, that's where she's hoping to go. Uh, the Phoenix Suns have a huge need at point guard, and you know she loves that Arizona weather. But with the 12th pick, the Rockets select Jeremy Lamb, so she's passed up there. She was hoping to go 13th here, but not going to happen as Kendall Marshall gets picked. So let's see if she can go with the 14th pick. And the Bucks, uh, well, they were looking for a big man, so they're not going to pick her. They picked John Henson. Um, the 15th pick is going to be Maurice Harkless. So the 76ers passed her, and let's see what happens with the 16th pick. And the Houston Rockets select... The five foot nine point guard out of the University of Notre Dame, Skylar Diggins. And she becomes the first woman NBA player. And this is groundbreaking, folks. This is unlike anything we've seen before. There's been talks about it. People have said, can a woman compete? And it turns out the first woman NBA player is going to be Skylar Diggins, a point guard for the Houston Rockets. And her career is going to be super interesting as we follow it and see what happens. She's going to accept the two-year contract with an annual salary of 500 VC. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is give her a, um, buy her a animation. 
I'm going to give her Stephen Curry's shot because his shot is most like hers in real life. Um, so I hope you're excited to see what happens with Skylar Diggins' career. She is going to be the first woman player in the NBA, and it's going to be a hell of a ride. So like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video because this is going to be awesome. This is TJ signing out. Peace out.